Hello ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to talk about WE32 AI Detect Malware, a detection you could have received from your antivirus software. This generic name may stand for a wide variety of viruses as well as be just a false positive detection. In this video I will explain how dangerous it is, whether it can be a false positive or not, and how to remove it. Let's start with figuring out what the WE32 AI Detect Malware means. This detection name belongs to VKA VPro antivirus engine, specifically coming from its AI detection system. My normal research on virus total and triage did not reveal a certain type of malware this detection normally means. Considering behavior similarities, particularly in system info collection and networking, I can suppose it corresponds to either a spyware, backdoor, or a ransomware. Any of the threats are not a joke. Spyware is what it sounds like. This malware will take every single bit of information about you and your system if it finds one valuable for its masters, remaining as stealthy as possible all the time. Backdoors rely on stealthiness too, providing remote access to your computer, which is hard to interrupt without removing the malware. This type of threats may be used to commit DDoS attacks or deploy additional malware. Ransomware, on the other hand, does not try to stay covered, at least not all the time. Such malware aims at ciphering the files and asking a ransom payment to get them back. At the same time, as I said, WE32 AI Detect malware may be a false positive detection. False positives are not a rare occurrence for AI detection systems, especially when other elements of the antivirus engine cannot say whether the file the AI detected is dangerous or not. And the detection name implies that this is exactly what's happened. Checking whether the detection is false or not is easy and complicated simultaneously. Everything boils down to the file location. I mean, if it is a part of a program that you know and sure it that it is safe, then you can just relax. But when the file is loose in a folder that does not belong to any program, or it is a part of a program we don't really know and sure about, the action is needed. To get the second opinion for this case, I recommend scanning the system with Grudensoft and Time Malware. This program will easily uncover whether there are any malicious elements on your computer or not. Run a full scan. This will check all the disks spread in the system, so nothing will be missed. This will take some time, depending on the amount of disks you have plugged into the PC. Once the scan is complete, click the now to remove the detected elements. This may also take some time, as the program should remove all the related files the malware normally generates during its activity. When it does not detect anything, well, it is likely that it was just a false positive. In any case, good luck and stay safe online.